Welcome to a quick bite of Acumatica brought to you by Innovative Cloud Solutions. I'm your host, Elise Rodriguez, and today we're covering budgets in Acumatica. Let's get into it starting from our budget screen in Acumatica. From the screen, I can budget by branch or company, and I'm going to select the budget ledger. And I'm going to select that for the year of 2024. So I also have tree view selected here. And this is going to allow for me to create nodes on a tree, which is basically roll ups. So you can see I have three nodes and I'm going to go ahead. I selected um, revenue accounts and it's going to show me each sub account combination that makes that up. So it's nice because this is the level that we budget at and the system by having these tree branches will allow us to roll up. So when I click here, it rolls up the amounts as you saw. And now you can configure this in the budget configuration screen. So you can have these however you'd like. Um, I just happen to have it at revenue purchasing and operating expenses split out. You can also use Acumatica security, which is a row level security using restriction groups to restrict people's access to these nodes. And these could be departments or they could also be types of accounts. And you can easily have your department managers or area managers able to access just, access just those accounts um, that they would be required to budget in with this budget screen. And since Acumatica has an unlimited user license model, it's easy to set that up and allow a lot of people to create their own budgets in here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to revenue accounts and I'm ready to budget and I can type my amount in um, here or I can uh, put an amount in this for the entire year and I'll be able to distribute that across the periods, either evenly or proportionally uh, to the previous year. Or if I want to do a comparison, I can come up here and I can say, let's say, for example, my actual ledger for 2023, it's going to show me a row underneath each budget row showing me the compared values. So whatever those are, it could be from previous budget, another budget ledger, or any year's actual. And what this is going to allow me to do is to type in the budget amount and then have the system distribute that for me proportionally to the compared values. So there's a lot of nice little tools in here for getting your budgets in. Now, just like in every other screen in Acumatica, we can hit the Excel button and export it out to Excel, or we can hit the load records from file and import a budget from Excel. So uh, since a lot of people like to do their budgeting within Excel, it's very easy to get the budget into Acumatica using the load records from file button. Also, you'll notice that notes and attachments are available on each row. So each budget line can have notes in free form, uh, attached notes, as well as multiple file attachments. And then these are gonna follow that budget throughout its life cycle. The other thing you'll notice here is there's a little check checkbox next to each row called release. There's another step to the budget. So after people are preparing their budgets, once they submit it, there's another screen where the budget has to be. It's like an approval screen and it has to be released. And until it is released, the budget amount is not going to show up in my financials reports. So it gives us a nice ability uh, like a worksheet to be able to work in and work through our budgets and make changes. And until it's ready, it will not show up in our financial statements unless we go ahead and release it, at which point it will show up. That has been today's quick bite of Acumatica. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Until next time.